Pick up the phone and call mom. Debbie Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504, Florida, L076508, Georgia, 69178, Idaho, MLO, 2080237926, Illinois, 031.0058339, Missouri, North Carolina, I210940, Nevada, 57237, Oregon, Tennessee, 184373, Texas, Washington, MLO, 237926. Okay, so welcome to the Redefined Plan platform, we are going to be explaining today to new real estate agents who would like to join the Redefine Lending team exactly how they can increase their income potential on every purchase transaction that they do. If you are here and you are watching, please feel free to write down all of your questions. I will come back after the PowerPoint presentation and I will answer every single question that every person has. So please don't hesitate. You can write them down and then ask them at the end, or you can go ahead and put them into the chat as you are watching the PowerPoint presentation. And I will make sure that I address every question that did come up throughout the presentation. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start the presentation now and uh, we'll be back at the end. So here we go. Okay, so welcome back. Here we go. We're going to talk about redefine lending. And as I mentioned, I will come back and answer all questions. Please feel free to put them as we go through into the chat if you'd like, or you can write them down. Very, very good chance that we're going to answer those questions for you as we go through the presentation. So I am Debbie Marcoux. I am the mortgage mom, and I have absolutely invested a lot of time into this to make sure that it was something that I agreed with before presenting it to agents. And this is a way that you will be able to earn additional income on those purchase transactions that you do close. So I really love it and I think it's going to be fabulous. So here we go. Why redefine? So you're going to earn more uh, from your real estate transaction with minimal extra work. You're going to offer your client the best in class home buying experience. You're going to develop relationships with customers for life. So this is a big one. We'll get into this a little bit later into the presentation and you are going to be able to generate new prospects. Um, while also having a better hold on your current book of business. So we are going to talk about all of that here in just a bit. Um, so in the last several of years, uh, and we've talked about this before on my shows, I don't know if you guys have watched, um, but AI has come into play and they have created a, a, the computer systems, the AI generated computer systems have truly made lending a much easier easier experience. A lot less hands-on is required. Now, obviously, there's always going to be those borrowers where you just can't get away from having a true loan officer doing the work with those borrowers. And we will talk about that as well. But in the majority of circumstances, a client with very straightforward income, um, W-2s, pay stub salaries, self-employed, but they can show their tax returns, great credit, they have money for a down payment, VA loans where they are a vet. It, they're just very simple files. They can roll through this redefined platform very, very easily, which is going to be able to remove the loan officer from the transaction, leaving that income that would typically be paid to a normal loan officer, not a requirement. So in the redefined platform, instead of a loan officer getting paid, that income that would typically come come out of a transaction and need to be included into pricing or interest rates that we offer to borrowers will get rolled back into those rate sheets. So you're also going to find that with this platform, not only are you getting paid, uh, but your clients are also getting a better interest rate and better fees. So it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, so how can we double your compensation? So as a real estate agent, typically you would talk with the client, you're going, they're going to call you and they're gonna say, hey, I wanna look into purchasing a home. And then you are going to talk to them a little bit. You're gonna do your own pre-qualification. That is what almost all real estate agents do. You're trying to determine if this is somebody that is a viable buyer before you're spending your time. And then what do you do? You then turn it over to a loan officer. 
So in this redefined platform, instead, you are going to turn them over to your own personal website where they can apply for that loan, where you're going to get paid and where the borrower is going to get better interest rates. In December of 2022, there were government guidelines that came out that said real estate agents can receive compensation by representing the buyer on both the real estate transaction and on the lending transaction. This This has now been opened up to conventional loans, VA loans, and FHA. So again, this is going to be saving your buyer fees. It's going to be saving your buyer in the interest rate, and then it's also going to be compensating you. Okay, so the current lending process, as I mentioned just a couple minutes ago, right now you take that phone call, you talk with that client, you then hand them over to a loan officer and you can see all these squiggly lines that are going on in this presentation. And that is because you are talking to the client, you are talking to the loan officer, you are trying to figure out what is going on and there's people working all over the place. Instead, you, it's going to be the real estate agent and your client, and you are going to be working directly with that client. Now, don't get me wrong, there's not going to be a lot of work for you to do, but you are going to have a dedicated team that is going to help you through the transaction. So you will have an application liaison. Your job as the real estate agent to get paid your comp is going to be to get the client to your website to apply. We do not expect you to talk to clients about interest rates loan programs, closing costs. We don't expect that. That's not what we are looking for from you. What we are looking for is instead of you turning over that client to a lender, to a loan officer, instead you are driving that client to your website to apply. So we are going to have an application liaison who is going to help your clients get their application completed if they have questions while in the system. But they are simply going to go to the website, which is what they do for all all lenders today, and they are going to complete their application online, and they are going to upload the documents that the application system is asking them for, but you will have that support there. Then you will also have a product specialist, and we're going to get to in the next slide exactly how this is going to work, the um, ins and outs of each step along the way, but there will be a product specialist, so you can think of that person like me, for example, who will, once the application is complete in the system, we'll go in with the knowledge and expertise that I have and we'll determine what the best loan program is for your client and where the interest rates will be for your client. And then you are going to then also have a processor who is going to work with your client and the underwriter to get the prop, uh, to get the file closed. So let's kind of talk about how that flow will work. And that is what we're going to do here in the next slide. So we are, we're simplifying this process and we're making it feel more secure for both you and your buyer. So at first interest, the client is going to call you. We've talked about that. That initial reach out, you as the real estate agent, you are going to drive them to your, your website to do the loan application and you will have your own redefined lending website that they will be able to apply on. It will be your job to continue to follow up with those clients to make sure that they have completed their application. So this is really the most important piece that you as a real estate agent will be doing throughout this entire process. Um, Your client will then get follow-up notifications from our proprietary system, that AI system that we talked about, to continue to notify them, to let them know that they need to update documents. Um, A processor is going to reach out to them and know this is not once they are in escrow. A processor is going to reach out to them. So you've got your application liaison, somebody that if they just get stuck in that initial application phase is going to help them get that application completed. But prior to you putting them in the car or you meeting them at a property to show them a home, we are going to have the processor reach out. So they complete the application. The processor is going to be working with them through that system, making sure that they are updating everything that they need and engaging with that client to keep them going. From there, once that application is complete, like I said, you're going to have that loan specialist. So someone like me would be reaching out for a consult with you 
and the client. So we will be doing either a three-way call or a Zoom or you know whatever that you prefer as far as your communication method. But we will be having that conference call to make sure that that client understands the best program, where the interest rates are, what their monthly payments will be, and what purchase price that they can go up to. How much money will they need to make sure that they have available for closing? What are closing costs and how much are those going to run them. So we are going to make sure that your client is extremely educated in that consultation call. From there, the file is going to get submitted by that processor to our underwriting department to have that loan completely approved. So your loans will be your clients and your buyers will be completely underwritten prior to making offers. So you all know as real estate agents how that is going to change that offer when you write that offer, your contingency timeframes, your closing timeframes, how fast that you could close the transaction, making your client look and stand out much more above other clients when maybe you are possibly in a multiple offer situation. Okay, so we're going to redefine your role with the redefined chart because we want to make sure that you understand what your job is as the loan officer on the file because you legally have to be the loan officer to get paid the commission. So your role as the loan officer is 10% of the process. You are driving that client to your website. You are following up with that client to make sure that they have completed their loan application and redefine is taking over from there. So we are underwriting it. We are processing it. We have all of the AI automation in, in place to make sure that everything goes through the transaction very simply for you. Another nice part of this with you being the loan officer is that you are also still going to be part of the communication to the client. So you are never going to be left out of an important email or an important conversation, which keeps you in tune with the transaction throughout the entire escrow period and the the entire transaction. So let's talk about um, your home buyer. And we kind of went through this a little bit before, um, but it is very, very important for us that your home buyer feels like they are being taken care of and that, you know, they are getting the very best interest rate, the very best fees, and you are maintaining that book of business. You are no longer handing that client off to somebody else. And in the next slide, we're going to start talking also about how is this going to benefit you as far as your compensation, because you are going to have what I like to refer to as residual income. This is not an insurance policy. It's not truly a residual, but it is going to be, you could look at it that way. It is going to be income that you're going to be receiving that you would not have received before. Um, but before we get into that, I do want to talk about your client's best in class experience. So, you know, you've got your good loan officers right now and mortgage lenders, banks, you've got your better ones so that maybe take that pre-approval a little bit further. So you've got the guy that just says, yeah, they're pre-qualified, no problem. You've got that, that loan officer that does that full pre-approval and, you know, takes the time and reviews all of the client's options, but we're going to take it another step and we're going to be the best transaction. So fully pre-approved, completely done, completely educated borrower, understanding every single dollar that they need to close, what their monthly payment is that they should anticipate. And you as their real estate agent and their lender is going to be right in the middle of that to make all of the conversations that you have with them much, much easier. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Hive because the Hive is our lending platform that is going to employ that AI to make sure that there it's income calculating very, very quickly as documents are getting uploaded, which is helping us pull that traditional loan officer out of the majority of transactions. So there are going to be transactions where we cannot go through this process, where you are going to step out and you are no longer going to be the loan officer. And those transactions are going to be those cl clients that do not qualify right out the gates. So they don't maybe have the income um, to qualify if they're self-employed off of tax returns and they need to use a bank statement program. Maybe you have a client that's looking to purchase a property as an investment and they need
need a debt service ratio program. Maybe you have a client that's got a little bit lower credit score than required, and they're going to need some credit repair before they would qualify. And maybe you just have that client that you know is going to be hands-on through the entire transaction, and it's going to absolutely need their hand held through that whole loan process. That is where, again, a loan officer like me is going to jump into the middle and take over for you because you still had that client apply on your website, you are now still going to get paid a referral fee of 25 basis points. And we're going to talk about what basis points are versus uh, what you guys are, are used to, which is percentages of commissions. Um, but for those clients that can go through this Hive process, our AI system, you're going to get paid 75 basis points, which is significantly more because there was not a loan officer that needed to get in the middle um, and handle the transaction for you. And we're feeding that additional income that that loan officer would typically make back into that rate sheet. So let's talk potential uh, compensation because I think this is very important. Um, you guys can see up on the um, on the screen right now, we kind of selected some different loan balances, um, you know, 845,000 sales price, loan amount 676. So I wanna make sure that I explain very thoroughly the important difference between how loan officers get paid and how real estate agents get paid. Loan officers get paid based on basis points. They do not get paid based off of um, percentage like you guys do. They get paid off of loan balance. They do not get paid off of sales price. So 75 basis points is 75% of 1%. So if the loan amount is 676,000, 75 basis points is 75% of 6,076, uh, $6,760, making that compensation $5,070. So let's say that you throw four transactions at us and a refinance where you are getting paid 50 basis points, which is half of a percent of 1%. But let's say that this is what you did in one month. This is bringing you in an additional $17,370 that you were not making before. So obviously there's going to be a little bit of work for you guys, which is going to be licensing. It is very important that we get you licensed as a loan officer so that you can legally be paid by us as an employee of Redefine. Um, but look at how much money is being left on the table. It's very, very, I, I think this is fantastic. I think it's something that will drive uh, more clients to stay with you as well, even for future listings. So we're going to talk about that a little bit because now we're creating a book of business. We're developing that customer that doesn't leave you. How many times have you actually sold somebody a home first time buyer. And when they went to sell the property, they actually reached out to a different agent and listed with a different agent. I know you like to believe your clients would never do that to you, but it does happen all the time. So this is going to be a way that you're going to be able to keep control of those clients from their very first purchase through their very last sale. So you're going to help them with that first purchase. Obviously, um, you're in the middle of, you know, the whole transaction. They close that loan. You know what interest rate that they got on that home. You know what their property was worth at, when the, at the time that you sold it to them. You know how much of a loan balance that they took at that time as well. And knowing that we are in an interest rate environment where we are at a top end, we are at the the highest levels that we've seen in over a decade, um, we know that interest rates will start to come down. And as they start to come down, you will not only be selling other people properties, but you will be able to re-engage this same client into a refinance for a lower interest rate. That person does that lower interest rate, then hey, guess what? And this is what happens in the lending world. All of a sudden, they need to get some cash out. They want to do home improvements. They want to put a pool in the property. They need to pay off some debts because what happens? 
happened. They purchased a home. They bought some new um, furniture. They decided to re- landscape the yard. They decided to repaint the, you know, the walls. They wanted to redo the kitchen. All of a sudden, their credit cards are maxed out and they need to get some cash out. Their property's gone up in value. So there's another refinance for you. Then all of a sudden, once that refinance is done and, and everything is paid off, now their credit score has gone through the roof. And all of a sudden, six months later, better interest rates, higher credit score, you refinance them again. And this happens, trust me, over and over and over again in the lending world. We don't make the same kind of commission that you guys do as real estate agents, but we do more volume and more transactions than you do because of the repeating client that comes back over and over again. But you have now as a real estate agent kept this client engaged with you. You've kept them in your book and now they are ready for their next purchase. So whether they lease that property out and go buy another home or they sell that property and go buy another home, you are the first person for them to call because you've stayed engaged in all of these transactions. But not only that, you've gotten paid on all of these transactions. So this is something that if you're not thinking right now, how do I get my license? You really should be. Um, Compound your projected commissions with refinances. So this is what we just talked about. I'm going to leave this slide here for just a minute because this presentation will remain on our YouTube site so that you can come back to this and watch it again if you want to reference this one spreadsheet. But I think you guys get the idea. Uh, One thing I want to make very, very clear again, okay, is if you have the client that needs the hands-on person that can't go through that redefined platform, they They need credit repair. They need help with their tax returns. They're self-employed. They haven't filed returns in a couple of years. They want to qualify to buy a home. They need to know how much they should, you know, uh, file their tax returns for. You've got somebody that needs that bank statement loan, that DSCR loan, that hard money loan, something that is not VA, FHA, conventional or qualified out the gates for one of those programs, you will still get paid a referral fee. You just won't get paid the full 75 basis points. You will get paid 25 basis points, but somebody like me will take over and make that happen. And right here, you guys are all here on watching. Um, Over the next couple of months, you're gonna be working on getting your licensing. We just rolled this out as of today. You guys are the first people to be hearing this presentation. So as of right now, Every single one of you real estate agents that sign up for this program will be assigned to me. So I will be the person who will be helping that client when it is too involved to roll through this platform. So you can rest assured that you've got a fabulous loan officer who is part of your team who will be taking over in those circumstances. Um, This is that rate rate cycle and home appreciation chart. Uh, I kind of talked about that with you guys. Um, Again, we're at the highest peak level of interest rates that we've seen in over a decade. So the opportunity for refinances coming up here within the next one year, two years, and three years is going to be very substantial. So don't leave that money on the table by not doing the extra work for getting yourself licensed to become a loan officer. So in summary, we've got it all set up for you guys. Your number one goal is going to be to get licensed. And you're going to ask me, how do I do that? And the easiest thing to do is to reach out to me directly and I will get you put in touch with our licensing team. So every single state that we lend in, you're a real estate agent. Not everybody watching this um, is from California. We've got agents in Arizona. We've got agents in Nevada. We have agents in Washington, Texas, Idaho, uh, North Carolina, Illinois. We are licensed in many, many states and there are real estate agents who are wanting to take advantage of this platform in all of those different states. Tennessee, Georgia, I could keep going. Um, Every single state, the licensing requirement is slightly different and the cost to get that licensing is slightly different. So we have developed a licensing team who will work with you one-on-one to help walk you through the steps 
of how to get licensed. What do you do next? Where do you go to complete information? Um, we are going to take you through that and we are going to walk you through it step by step. So the most important thing you could do is go to our redefinelo.com. So redefinelo.com. Go to that website and put your information in that website. That is going to reach out directly to me. And then I am going to give you a call, talk with you, work with you, get you set up with our licensing team who is going to help walk you through what you need to do next. Um, so again, on here, you can see that you can email info at redefinelending.com. You can email me, Debbie, at redefinelending.com. Um, you can schedule a call if you'd like, but the biggest thing that you can do, go to redefine LO. Com. Go to redefinelo.com and apply for the interview, ap apply for more information. Just get your information in there. It's your name, it's your licensing number, how many transactions have you done, what state are you in. So it's details that we need to know. And then I am going to reach out to you directly. So this is where I'm going to stop this PowerPoint presentation. And I am going to come back to you so that you guys can um, start asking your questions. I can answer them for you. And and any chats that have come in during the presentation, I'm going to read those out loud and answer them for you as well. So thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, so um, that was the entire presentation. I am sure that many of you have a lot of questions. I did not see many, I didn't see any questions come in during the presentation. And I don't see any questions being uh, chatted at me right now. So I am going to end this for now. We will do another presentation uh, probably in about another 30 days to 45 days. Uh, so we're going to kind of space them out a little bit to get more people interested and in understanding of what it is. But as you watch this, and if you watch it over and over again, trying to get that concept, and you do come up with questions that you would like to ask, please do not hesitate to reach out directly. I am more than happy to answer them for you, and you are more than happy to call, welcome to call, email, uh, go to that website that I mentioned in that final slide. So once again, it is redefinelo.com. My email is debbie at redefinelending.com. Dot com, and you are more than welcome always to call Mortgage Mom Radio at 844-935-3634 if you would like to ask me questions and get me on the phone directly. So with that, I do hope that many of uh, the real estate agents out there who we have contacted get interested in this platform. We can get you set up to start that licensing. It truly is not a difficult task to get done. It is much, much easier than your real estate license was. It's a much smaller amount of time that you need to do for school and you need to take a test. Um, so it's not too difficult for you guys to be earning quite a bit more every single month on every single purchase transaction. So with that, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and I hope to talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Debbie Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona 09415044, Florida L076508, Georgia 69178, Idaho MLO 20802372926, Illinois 031.0058339, Missouri, North Carolina I210940, Nevada 57237, Oregon, Tennessee 184373, Texas, Washington MLO 237926.